Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, United States Cloud Services. And uh, I will also talk about how we build a commercial and a production ready cloud from open source to open stack. Does everybody know why OpenStack is founding, uh, is founded, uh, uh, four years ago? Uh, somebody may say Rackspace and NASA founded, uh, contribute uh, each other's uh, core services and then founded OpenStack. But from my observations, um, is uh, Amazon Web Services that inspires OpenStack's founding four years ago. And, um, uh, about four, one, uh, four years ago, always, uh, AWS has become, uh, had become so successful uh, and, uh, that uh, almost uh, every uh, IT, traditional IP companies want to copy the successful of uh, AWS. And they, they finally gathered together to fund an OpenStack project and want to copy the successful. And um, after four years later, uh, AWS has become the. I have read. I have read uh, articles about AWS. It says it has, AWS has become the most, uh, uh, the fast, the fastest growing software business in the IT history, and um, it uh, has uh, um, it has double uh, double its revenue for every year, and uh, at the same time. Uh, let's, let's see uh, how does OpenStack perform in last uh, four years. Uh, from my observations, AWS has become bigger and uh, bigger. Uh, even though uh, in last four years, OpenStack has um, uh, got a very fast um, uh, increase, has a lot of uh, user base, and. Um, it, it, there, there is uh, more and more uh, and more and more companies join the uh, community, but uh, in terms of uh, the revenue, in terms of uh, the uh, user base, in terms of uh, the quality, in terms of uh, the revenue from the OpenStack software, I what I can uh, what I have seen is that OpenStack is uh, gotten smaller and uh, smaller. So. Uh, the, as a startup of, uh, in the OpenStack community, I'm, think, uh, I'm already thinking who, uh, what's the background reason of, the, of such situation. So I think the reason have uh, been written in their logos. OpenStack is a uh, cloud software, and uh, AWS is uh, web services. What's the difference of two kinds of, uh, uh, of, of such two, two kinds? Um, from my observations, uh, OpenStack is uh, the cloud software is a, is um, a bunch of uh, projects who can solve the, a lot of uh, uh, questions or problems in the IT infrastructure area, and uh, web services are more like uh, the Internet of Things, and um, essentially uh, the Internet has growing much more faster than any other IT services. So uh, if the IT is built on internet, it should have a faster growing speed. So um, the, and, uh, in, other, in other side, as you, in my understanding, the uh, more essential uh, difference that uh, uh, AWS services is delivered for uh, open API. And, uh, OpenStack is the, the software is delivered. Of course, is also the, the service are also delivered by a uh, lot of vendors for API. But more uh, from what I see, more more OpenStack community vendors are doing the software integration, uh, struggling to figure out uh, OpenStack configuration. And um, so um, I, I think this is kind of far away from the essentials of cloud. So. Um, United Stack as a, um, a service, OpenStack service, cloud service company in China, we build a public cloud and, and we build a public cloud in, in China and um, providing services for enterprise and individuals. So how do we build uh, OpenStack 
to uh, help, help build, build from open source project to uh, open, open, so open stack web services, just like uh, what AWS does. Um, first, um, when we first design, uh, when we first plan to do such a business, uh, we have uh, uh, we have decided to do to these things in a uh, in a different way. That is uh, uh, opinionated. Um, as all you know, OpenStack is a community that involves a lot of uh, uh, involves hundreds of uh, companies with. Uh, uh, different goals and the thousands of developers who, whose uh, capability and um, of whose, whose capability differs much. Uh, so in such in such a, in such community, how does this uh, companies and uh, work, uh, developers work together to build one uh, services or one product? Is this a very big question? So for for us um, uh, in, in in such an uh, environment, there is a lot of uh, Trade-off and uh, balance. So, um, in, uh, the, in the community, um, more people are uh, achieving uh, the uh, fairness or the um, uh, balance instead of uh, performance and uh, speed. So, as a as an opinionated company, we choose uh, speed. We choose uh, 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 we, we we choose to. Uh, provide uh, uh, better services. So uh, how we do that? Um, this is our uh, selection of different kinds of uh, layers. In the host OS layer, uh, we only support uh, uh, CentOS uh, operating system, so that we can uh, we, we we do not say we ha we can support different uh, uh, host OS, but we only support uh, CentOS. And uh, in the broad stories, even we have uh, ma uh, many, many choice, but we only support uh, self because we have done, um, because in my understanding, in our team, we think uh, self-based uh, cloud storage are the, uh, how can gain the best performance. And um, as in the virtualization layer, we uh, definitely will choose uh, KVM. And, um, Networking, we choose neutral uh, plus OS, and the automation, we choose um, Puppet. It's hard to say, uh, for example, as of, uh, uh, if uh, AWS, when you, create, uh, when you launch an uh, instance, uh, instance in AWS, uh, AWS asks ask for you to select uh, which storage do you, which, which kind of storage do you want, which uh, hypervisor do you want, you will be annoyed. So as a service provider, uh, in in this fundamental uh, selection, we should have our own opinion. Uh, this is our um, framework selection. The second, uh, our platform, uh, our cloud services have a, have a, uh, have a very important focus on uh, user experiences. As of, as for startup, if you want to attract our new users uh, from uh, we have very, as a startup, we have very few marketing resources, and we have very few uh, uh, relationships with some big customers. So uh, the the only the only way to expand our business is to make your product be to be easy to use, uh, easy to learn, easy to understand. So we focus on user experience in our early stage. So. Uh, uh, I will take an example. How do I? How do we uh, improve our experiences? As all you know, uh, everybody wants to use uh, uh, Horizon to uh, review or to uh, manage the cloud so, uh, uh, the cloud resources, and um, this is uh, the standard the community version of uh, Horizon. And uh, in United States, we developed our own version of uh, uh, dashboard. It's uh, a newly designed dashboard. It's not based on Horizon um, because our architecture is totally different. Um, in Horizon, we can see there is, um, there is an app middleware. It's a Django-based uh, app management system. So 
every request in uh, from the front and uh, from the front and UI where goes through the uh, app middleware and then goes to the backend API, such as Nova and uh, uh, Neutron Glance uh, API. Uh, as for United Stack, we our front end uh, uh, JavaScript uh, directly talk with uh, backend API without any uh, without other middleware. So this gains us uh, this um, let, let us have a lot of benefits to control how to uh, to, to to do customization to improve the user uh, improve the experiences because um, uh, front end. Uh, uh, is uh, is very flexible to do just the front end engineering things. So this example, how do we uh, focusing on uh, user experience to attract new users? Uh, we in our practice of uh, um, dev developing business, uh, we have uh, sought uh, many customers. Uh, who have no idea about the cloud, and even without any knowledge on OpenStack. So if you give him a horizon, they cannot, uh, they cannot even understand uh, which, uh, what's, what what's instance mean, what's, uh, how, how to understand the neutral concept like uh, network, subnet, uh, port, and, uh, and other, idea, uh, other concepts. It's very hard to complex. Uh, it's very uh, complex to uh, understand this concept. So we do a lot of uh, simulation. Uh, the third and the most important one, uh, you, your team uh, must be strong enough. Oh, I have some friends uh, in the OpenStack uh, community said uh, I have I can have uh, OpenStack uh, source code and I can I, I know the architecture so I can provide cloud services to uh, our customers. No, you you, you can't. Um, you, um, if you if you do not uh, if you don't understand uh, very well about the uh, source code about the architecture, uh, if you if you do uh, if you don't um, coding the if you don't uh, involve the um, upstream and the coding some critical component, you can never understand what the OpenStack is. You can never understand what uh, what is built for what is built from. Uh, so I will give you some uh, a simple. Uh, Quick demo, uh, demonstration about our platform and see how we build our cloud and uh, how our, uh, how does we build a strong um, cloud services. Uh, I will I will uh, demonstrate our three important uh, uh, capabilities. One is our uh, computing services. Um, there are several uh, instances here. Uh, it's very easy to create a new instance. You just need uh, to um, create a uh, type your type the name and uh, select uh, any kind of uh, uh, images. In our platform, we support almost all the uh, Linux uh, or Windows distribution in the market. Let's say we using Ubuntu 14.04. Select. Um, Mac Pro uh, is Synagog KPL. And uh, in this, uh, we, we support a, a shared network by default. For, for um, new users, they do not understand Neutron. They do, do not understand the private cloud. So uh, what, he, uh, what he does he want is uh, a virtual machine with uh, embedded networking. So uh, we, in the first, um, uh, in the second tab, we do not, uh, the user do not need to select the network. But if uh, the user gains or not, uh, uh, if the user becomes a once user, he can define their own private network. Um, so it, it, um, usually, it usually takes only uh, six seconds to launch a new instances. Oh, it's active. Just uh, using six seconds to launch a new instances. Uh, why, does this, why does this process so fast? Um, I will explain uh, more later. Um, in virtual machine, uh, you can uh, get a, get a monitoring um, data. I will check, check another system, and then you will get a real time uh, real time monitoring. And get the metrics from the virtual machine. 
is a is, is a uh, refresh the, the data will refresh for every seconds, and uh, you have uh, VNC, we have optimized the VNC console, and uh, we support uh, scale up and scale down uh, resize. You can scale up and set and scale down your virtual machine. It's really fast. It's, uh, we have uh, done some optimization on this implementation. Oh, OK, it's very simple and uh, popular. Uh, this is very popular service. I, I, I think mo most people are well understanding the cloud, what a cloud service is. Uh, I just mentioned. I just mentioned that uh, we uh, we we will take only six seconds to launch a new instance. How we uh, how do we uh, uh, achieve that? Our skip to this nice. Uh, in our platform, uh, we use unified storage. Uh, this is a uh, uh, build uh, on uh, self. Uh, we have done integration. Uh, of self to Nova to Glance and the Cinder services. So when you launch a new instances, there's no data transfer between uh, Glance and Nova. And there's even no data transfer from Cinder and Nova. So it's super fast to uh, create a new instances. And then most importantly, uh, we hugely simplify the management of backend, uh, storage backend and reduce cost of storage. And then re uh, reduce the redundant data transfer between services. So this is uh, our uh, computing services. And uh, for the um, warning services, it's also, I just mentioned, it's also based on self. It's really fast to create uh, uh, new instances. We, and uh, at the same time, our performance is the highest in, as, uh, I have done some comparison in different uh, popular uh, cloud Platforms, and we find we if we can provide the fastest uh, uh, fastest uh, speed, uh, fastest I/O uh, throughput. We can support 170 megabyte per second uh, throughput and uh, 600,000 uh, 6, IOPS uh, uh, IOPS in one uh, volume, and uh, we can support multi backend storage. The the first performance type of uh, volume is powered by SSD. Back the uh, uh, surf and the, the capacity type of uh, disk is powered by SATA disks. Uh, it's super fast to create uh, new instances, and uh, it's also it usually takes only one seconds. And uh, most importantly, uh, you can do a very fast first uh, clone or rec uh, on backup of the whole uh, snapshot. It only takes um, an, uh, usually one or two seconds to do the first snapshot. The reason is very simple. We actually do not do the full copy. It's just a copy and write. Uh, we're using the copy and write technology of uh, self. Uh, and uh, in the instances, uh, uh, another, another important uh, feature is that related to snapshot of volume is that you can take very, uh, you can uh, build uh, new images in less than, six, uh, less than three seconds. Uh, for example, you can uh, take, a, uh, take a snapshot of your newly created um, instances. It only takes uh, less than uh, se uh, three seconds to have such a new uh, images. So uh, next time when you create a new instances, you can have uh, such new images. It's super fast. Usually, in upstream or stack, it will take uh, uh, several minutes uh, or, uh, hundred, uh, or um, dozens of minutes because they have a huge amount of data to move. So this is uh, uh, computing services and uh, storage services. And in the networking services, uh, we have done a lot of optimization uh, based on Neutron. Uh, we support a multiple, uh, this is uh, um, enhancements of uh, our uh, networking topologies. You can have router, and uh, we add more functionality to router. Uh, this is some highlights of our uh, uh, neutral-based uh, uh, network services. Our S3 agent have R3 support. We virtualize almost all the networking operations. You can do, uh, you can do the automation in the web UI. 
And uh, this, is our, uh, this is our roadmap of our United States services. Um, now, we, uh, res uh, we have finished this uh, uh, critical services like, uh, in, the two, in the July of 2014. We have uh, finished the Cloud Service Unified Storage ne Networking Billing System, VPN services. And um, uh, we also have uh, supported Martin region. And, uh, and I just, um, I just uh, uh, mentioned that we have uh, monitoring services. And uh, you can see the demo in our booth. I have no time to demo the monitoring services. And in November, we, we opened our identity access management system based on Keystone. And uh, in, next, uh, no, in December, we have, we have more services. Uh, in 2015, uh, we will have uh, uh, more important uh, uh, services like uh, database, node bands, or the scanning, desktop as services, and uh, GPU instances. So, uh, if you uh, if, if you have uh, you will understand well of the growth of AWS, you will have a feeling of, of our roadmap. Um, our our our, uh, our plan is to in the in the in the first stage we made our um, infrastructure services uh, stable enough, and then we will add more services on our uh, on our platform, and uh, we will we will open, uh, we will have more services. Uh, uh, and uh, we have uh, continuous innovation based on OpenStack technology. I think this is um, what, uh, what's, uh, what the OpenStack uh, will be like in the future. Thanks.